Hey there, I'm going to try to be real quick about this review. It's for the documentary Diego Maradona. It's a documentary about the Argentinian football star that was real big in the 80s. Uh, he is still alive, but obviously not playing football anymore. Also, I want to be clear when I'm saying football, I'm referring to soccer for us Americans. Uh, football's a completely different sport. So, soccer slash football. So, if you don't know who he is, he's often compared to Pe Pele, 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 the other super popular, well-known, famous footballer. And the reason for this is Maradona was really, really good back in his day. He was born in the slums of Argentina. He later went on to play for Barcelona, or Barcelona, uh, depending on how you pronounce it and eventually went to Italy to play for, I'm gonna check my notes here to make sure I get the team right, uh, Napoli. And the interesting thing about that is he went there, one, for a lot of money, and he got criticized for it because he was paid really well to go to Napoli. But also, they were kind of a terrible team at the time. And so people were like, well, why are you playing for this great team to go play for a team that's really quite a poor team and one of the reasons he gave is you know he wanted to get a little bit of respect as a footballer during his time in napoli he helped bring that team to a championship level and did really well to the point to where in the city itself he was equivalent of tre being treated as a god uh, there were pictures of him painted on walls people stalked him all that kind of stuff i'm mentioning this because I guess it's hard for me as an American to imagine this level of fanaticism towards an individual, especially a, for, a sports star. I know some Americans are kind of fanatical about their American football stars, but anyway, um, it, it, it was that type of reverence that they had for him as a player because he was so good. And he wasn't a big guy. He's actually shorter than me. He's 5'5", five five, but he was smart about how he played. Now, during the World Cup, he went and played for Argentina. The Argentinian team in the 85 World Cup was, it was 85 or 84? 86 World Cup. That, the Argentinian team, once again, was not considered to be a contender, really, but ended up going through the series and beating the German team, making him an even bigger star, especially you now in Argentina, world everywhere. He goes back to Napoli. But the problem is he kind of gets involved with the wrong crowd, starts doing drugs, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to give it all away. Go watch the film. Later on, when he goes to play for the next World Cup for Argentina, he's pitted against the Italian team. So now he's got some decisions to make of <clears throat> who does he kind of support there. And this is where some of his problems come in or are highlighted. Uh, once again, I'm not going to get into all of it. I think it's a fascinating story. I've never heard of this guy before, but I don't follow European football or uh, World Cup or any of that kind of stuff. The film is told via archival footage. And uh, to the maker of the film, Asif Kapita, Kapada, apologies if I'm mispronouncing that, which I probably am, he does the whole film through um, archived footage that he gets from Madonna himself. And then also everything's done via voiceover, so we're not actually seeing any talking to the camera style interviews. The only real complaint I had about it was it did feel a bit long. The film's over two hours long, which is quite a bit of length for a documentary. And it does seem to be a bit one-sided, very in favor of Maradona. But it is interesting to see how someone that's held with such reverence can then be you, and this is what we do as people, too. We, we, we take people, we put them up here, and then we tear them down because we love to do that. And that happened to him. He's clearly not necessarily the best person. He has some issues with his personal relationships with his family that call out here. But as a documentary goes, this is a really enjoyable film. If you are a footballer or soccer or does that work? I don't know. I think it's also a lesson to us, the, the people out there, the ones who idolize these people and say like, wh you know, why are we such assholes about stuff? Why do we put people up here only to tear them down? And we do it with celebrity all the time.
I want to get this video up really quickly so there's not going to be a lot of cutaways. Unfortunately, you're going to have to look at me talking to the camera quite a bit. Anyway, go see it. It's out this weekend. I would recommend it. I gave it four out of five stars. See you there.